Yankees pitchers and catchers reported today. Um, Aaron Boone held this press conference. And yesterday, Masahiro Tanaka came to camp. You know, today's like the reporting day, so to speak. And, you know, people work out. Before that, though, the, the complex across the street. So Masahiro Tanaka actually got to the facility yesterday. And he told the media in so many words, this is a better team than last year. And if you think about what the Yankees have done during the offseason, and you take a look at the roster from last, even if you take a look at the roster that ended last year, but you should say you should start with the roster that started last year. How you can say that this is not a better team than a team that won 100 games and not that they, they can end up winning 95 this year? Things have to go very well to win 100 games. Unfortunately for the Yankees, the things that didn't go well was the Red Sox had an even better year. They won 108 games and they won the World Series. So Mark Teixeira was on um, D. Pietro, Canty. And Rothenberg yesterday and said the, he, his pick to win the World Series is the Yankees. Right. So, and, and it's just curious because when you do a sports talk show here in New York, mm -hmm. all we've gotten are complaints about the Yankees not spending money. They didn't do anything during the offseason. And let me just break it down for the people because that's what we like to do. We like to make it nice and simple for everybody. These are the players of note from last year's team that are not starting the season with the Yankees. David Robertson, he's good. Mm -hmm. D.D. Gregorius, potentially after three or four months. And Sonny Gray. And you could also throw in Jordan Montgomery, who might return in July. Okay. This is who they've added. James Paxton had a 2.9 war last year, 11-6 record, 3.76 ERA. He throws in the upper 90s. Adam Adovino. Last year, a whip under one, 2.43 ERA, 2.6 war. Opponents at 158 against him. So you kind of canceled out Robertson with, with Ottavino. Paxton replaces Sonny Gray. That's a big Huge. improvement. Huge. You also have Jay Happ, who wasn't on the opening day roster last year. Right. That's a big improvement over Jordan Montgomery. You have DJ LeMayu. I don't exactly know where he... You can't really say, well, he's better than this or better than that because he doesn't have a position at this point. And then Troy Tulowitzki. Now, Troy Tulowitzki's not in the same class as D.D. Gregorius unless he's totally healthy. He hasn't been totally healthy in years. So to assume that he will be, I think, is folly. But even if Tulowitzki hurts himself mm -hmm. in spring training, then all you do then is move Glaber Torres to short. And D.J. LeMay, who's won three gold gloves playing second base, becomes your second baseman. And one other thing I'd like to add. I'd be shocked... If Gary Sanchez hits 188 again, or 189 again, shocked. So I want somebody to make a compelling argument that this Yankee team, even without signing Machado, even without signing Harper, without having that big, big free agent, and I, I didn't even mention Zach Britton, is added to the bullpen as well. Right. Full season. How could you say this team's not better than last year? And if you're the Yankees, aren't you trying to be better than you were the year before, especially when the year before you won 100 games?